Hey what's up guys, Steve here and welcome back to the channel. Today we carry out another route in Fernbus and we continue on the Belgium DLC. So we'll follow up from where we left off in the last episode. If you can't remember what we did, the link's in the top corner now with the previous episode. Uh, we'll be starting out in Brussels and we'll be heading on down to Charleroi. So let's quickly show you the map for today's route and uh, we'll show you the route that we're going to be taking to head down. So yeah, as mentioned, we'll be starting from uh, the depot here in Brussels and then yeah, heading on round to the uh, first stop, which we've got some weird sort of loops and different bits and pieces to do. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on with that uh, map there. But then we'll be heading back out of Brussels, rejoining the motorway and then heading down to Charleroi. So there's quite a lot in Charleroi. Um, I'll, we'll probably do that bit on the way out um, and then we have the final trip in the DLC to Ghent which is our last route uh, as part of the um, DLC so yeah let's head, uh, head back on board the bus and uh, we'll start off today's trip so yeah let's jump inside get the bus ready and head to our collection point so let's shut the door make sure we're ready to go I don't know why these vans are turning around in the car park but anyway all right let's start her up Right, cool, so let's make sure everything is set up and ready. For some reason, the air conditioning doesn't seem to want to work. Um, okay, there we go. Let's set the temperature on the air con. That's fine. That should be okay, I think, for temperature. Can't remember what we normally set it to. Um, and then let's check we've got all the various different buttons pressed. So let's turn on the lights. That's fine. Let's turn on the sign so people know where we're going and Wi-Fi's on, uh, that's fine, I think everything's good to go, let's just turn on the monitor so people know inside, uh, passenger lights on, I don't think we'll put the driver's light on, I think we'll be fine with that, uh, yep, radio's turned off, that's alright, so let's see if there's anything down, uh, that's all set, we've got plenty of fuel, don't need to mess around with any of these switches for the moment, no, don't worry, we need to worry about any of those and next one sorry that one that, that panel there so uh worry about gears in a minute no don't need that don't need that no that's all fine uh, destination displays on so that's okay we have that ready air conditioning's on yep no, that's it i think we're good to go so for some reason these cars seem to be turning around in the entrance so let's try not to uh try not to hit any of them if we can get away with it and uh, we're taking a I think it's a right up here so the sat nav seems to be having a bit of a moment uh, with all of this it seems to want to make us turn left and then right again for some unknown reason so um, we'll wait here at the lights and, and take a right so yeah as mentioned this is the last but one trip on the Belgium DLC uh, we do have the trip from Charleroi to Ghent to do and then that will complete all of the towns in the DLC um, I guess probably well, let's see what happens next. Obviously, we've got um, the whole of France, which we haven't actually got as a DLC yet, which we can explore, but we'll um, see what comes up. I'm expecting with the imminent release of uh, Bus Sim 21 that we'll probably be in that for a little bit and doing some trips. These cars keep coming around. What are they going to do? I don't think they can turn around because I think I'm in their way, so I don't think there's a lot that they can do there. They just seem to be sort of stopped there. All right, perfect. So let's take a right here. Nothing come in. No, nice and clear. So head on out. Yeah, the sat nav does want to take us up this little side road here on the left, and uh, it's a bit of a weird turn. But we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, we're going to carry straight on. Oh, get caught by these traffic lights. So um, yeah, let's stop at these lights. But yeah, as mentioned, obviously, um, bus sim twenty one comes out on the seventh. There's a lot of uh, people started to show preview versions and stuff like that. I've caught a couple of them um, with people like Game Tech UK and um, the uh, Northern Alex has, has obviously done some. And uh, yeah, the the game looks amazing. I can't wait for that to come out. We've uh, got let's say loads of stuff to do in that, which hopefully should be uh, should be exciting. And hopefully you're looking forward to that coming out. Um, Aerosoft I think also did a their next sim I can't remember what they call it now but they're like preview of loads of stuff that's coming out and there's, there seems to be a fair amount of uh, content that they've got coming out obviously with new bits for the bus and, and whatnot so yeah going to be a busy sort of end of this year beginning of next year for, for sort of content for the channel so 
you know hopefully uh, hopefully it's all very good and exciting and, uh, and you guys are going to enjoy it I know I'm excited for those bits so um, apologies if I sound a bit different today I'm pretty ill at the minute so I'm very snotty and uh, hoarse so uh, I was debating putting off this video but um, that seemed to, be, uh, seemed to be getting some decent views recently so I wanted to try and get this put out so apologies if I sound a bit more croaky and hoarse than normal Alright, so we'll go around this corner here. Let's try not to hit everything as we go around. This road does get a bit tight as we're sort of heading on through into the bus stop. Alright, so I'm not sure which side the bus stop is because it does suggest that we turn around, I think, in the... I guess which is a turning point, but it's probably a... Uh, well, it's just coming up here, so you'll see, you'll see in a minute. So some buses on the left, so I'm guessing we, the bus stops are on the left there. I think that's pretty much where we left off last time. Yeah, there you go, see, just uh, just there on the left. So um, let's see what we can do in terms of turning around. So let's take this right lane here. All right, perfect. Yeah, and yeah, turning right here. Yes, this is, uh, what's wrong with that Mondeo there? Okay, so this is looks like a tight squeeze. It's, um, not sure if we're going to make this. Oh, no, we've, uh, we've kind of... Uh, kind of caught that bollard there so um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this let's, um, let's back this up a little bit trying to reverse into this truck I think we might have to um, what are we going to do here I think probably have to do a reverse turn so let's go past these uh, these big old concrete bollards here um, and let's try and reverse it into here and see if we can get in without causing too much mayhem Perfect, so let's just see on the camera. No, I think we're okay. Ooh, we're a bit close to that truck. Let's, uh, there we go, let's have a quick look. That's fine. Right, perfect, bit of perfect bit of manoeuvre in there. Right, there we go. So let's let these trucks go and this car go and uh, we'll turn around to try not to hit this bollard on the left as we go out. Don't want to start off with accents. Officer, not doing anything suspicious here, don't worry. Um, Alright, cool, so there's nothing coming that way, nothing that way. Alright, cool, let's go. So let's try not to hit the bollards or the uh, the metal railings as we go around. No, we're perfect. Alright, and then, yeah, we've got our stop coming up just up here on the right. So let's pull on in here. We are early, so that's good. So let's, uh, got a few people to check on here. I think uh, we'll, we'll load up the app in a minute and see how many people we've actually got on for today. So... Right, perfect. Stop here. Open the doors. Open the luggage compartments. And uh, let's hop off and uh, see about checking these people in. So, got quite a few people here. Uh, why are not all these luggage compartments opening up? I can't remember if this one even opens. No. That one there. No. Open. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so, a few people to check on. So, let's uh, start up the app. And we've got 10 people to check on. Um, so let's uh, let's check on who we've got. So uh, start this lady here. So yeah, you're Charlotte Roy, so you're fine. So are you. That's perfect. Uh, you are going to Charlotte Roy. Yep, you're okay. Whereabouts? So yeah, you as well. Let's quickly bus express scan you in. Uh, yeah, you as well. That's fine. What about you, madam? <coughs> no, you're going to Leipzig. No, it's not for us. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah, you're alright. So let's check you in. What about you? Yeah. Okay. No, you're going to Luxembourg. Not going to happen. Well, that seems to be a long trip to Luxembourg. Uh, alright, you want to buy a ticket, so let's find shot right here. Check it. And scan it. Perfect. Alright, you are... Yep, yeah, you're coming with us. Uh, last couple, uh, okay, so I think you want to buy a ticket, yep, yeah, as well, so let's check you on, perfect, scan that, good, we're good, and then you should be the last one, there we go, perfect, so you're good to go, nobody else is here that needs to be here, so let's uh, check that we haven't forgotten anyone, don't want to leave anyone behind like we did in the before and let's shut the doors and shut the luggage compartments and then should be good to go cool shut the doors right, perfect 
Oh, this. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, let's just check that because that yeah that luggage compartment didn't shut for some reason. Don't know why that doesn't seem to want to be on the same button as everything else, but it's there. So, all right, let's jump on. Shut the front door. We're inside a building. All right, perfect. So, are we ready to go? So we've got a couple of minutes before we leave. So, let's uh, play. We'll check the air conditioning. Uh, no, that's why is that 20? I guess that's outside temperature 28. Uh, no, it seems to be working fine. Yep, fans on. Okay, I don't know what this is doing. Doesn't seem to be working like it normally does. Maybe it's just different than this coach. No, nope, temperature's fine. All right, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, it must be set. So we've messed around enough with that. So um, <clears throat> yeah, we got a minute or so to go before we leave. Um, let's. I suppose you should think about playing the announcement and checking in. So let's start that. That's fine. Let's play the announcement. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unsere... Alright, I think that's enough, uh, uh, enough announcement. So, let's head on around here. So... Take, remember, this is quite a tight turn. Hopefully, you don't. Oh, we we've had a light accident. Um, I don't think we gave it enough swing. All right, never mind. Let's um, <coughs> pretend we didn't see that. Um, we didn't even get a hundred meters down the road, and we've already crashed into something. I think we may, may have got. I think it might have been a uh, a light pole or something like that. I blame it on the fact that for some reason I'm now missing my uh, my virtual mirror. But um, let's quickly stop at these lights and see if we can't turn on the virtual mirrors again so we don't uh, I don't have too many more accidents uh, we definitely don't need that, uh, that adding to my life so all right, lights are still red so we're going to be here for a little while so I think that's uh, let's quickly turn on the virtual mirror and we'll turn on the nav as well while we're here so perfect all right that's good so now hopefully we should crash into a, a few less things and we shouldn't get lost or speed so I don't know why they turned themselves off but uh, obviously they did so maybe it was an, an update or something like that but uh, yeah they're normally on for uh, for the videos so all right while we wait for these lights to go green we'll enjoy downtown Brussels and the traffic that comes with it and the fact that we've destroyed half of it all right perfect so green light let's go so yeah it's a shorter route today I think it's only about a 20 minute route in total um, just to carry on the, uh, the the DLC unfortunately a lot of traffic lights oh god now the air conditioning is too hot does this bus have AC guess it does but I can't remember what temperature it's supposed to be set to uh, let's set it to I think it was like 22 I think let's leave it at that hopefully the people will be uh, will be okay and they won't complain too much and you know as usual they probably will moan but we'll worry about that when we get to it all right so yeah the half light's gone green so we're going through this one we're back to sort of where we started the uh, <coughs> the main depots on the left here that we uh, we started today's episode at and uh, yeah yeah more traffic lights so I think we want the right lane here. Yeah. Yep. So let's take the right hand lane, and we're going straight through these particular lights. But yeah, let's say guys, there's a lot of uh, exciting stuff coming up. As uh, say, in terms of your uh, uh, bus sim 20, 21s coming out, and uh, some updates to the bus, uh, as well as some interesting stuff that they uh, they teased at this um, uh, Aerosoft sim. Um, they've got a bus. A uh, new bus game coming out, but it's not actually a bus game. It's kind of like a bus company management game. I can't remember what they called it now. I did try and find the uh, <coughs> the restream, but couldn't find it. So, yeah, it looks a bit like uh, 
looks a bit like a, uh, you know, kind of, a, well, let's just turn this music down, sorry, music decided to turn itself up for some reason. Um, yeah, it looks like a sort of company management game, but uh, you, you just manage a, a sort of a bus company and, uh, you know, try and build it and, and stuff like that. So, you know, that looked, uh, looked, looked quite uh, quite interesting, as well as uh, a few other uh, updates. Apparently there's an update coming for truck and uh, transport logistics management um, and uh, uh, yeah a few others for, for other sort of uh, I think a new I can't remember what they called it now heavy heavy duty something heavy duty haulage or something like that so um, but yeah it looked like a uh, you know a, a new version of on the road but uh, but with a lot of heavy duty uh, kind of uh, equipment and stuff like that coming uh, plus there's also now all the or re re sorry, they've released the latest, uh, also released the date for the latest uh, Wyoming um, update for ATS, and that's all uh, say coming up on the seventh as well. So yeah, it's pretty much just uh, you know just a reason to take Steam and uh, just direct debit my wages into the Steam account because uh, it's going to be a busy old month. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are, as I say, in terms of uh, uh, things like ATS and uh, stuff. Obviously, the recent ATS videos I've done have uh, have had some decent views, but it always seem to be based around a sort of, uh, you know, an event or a World of Trucks event or something like that. So, you know, would you guys like to see more ATS stuff on the channel? Do you want to see more routes, more just random, you know, stuff when new DLCs come out? But, you know, if, if you do, I don't know, put a comment down the comment section below and, and let me know if you think it's something that you'd like to uh, like to see I'm always in uh, you know interested to, uh, to gain what you guys are interested in uh, what series you like on the channel and uh, what you don't so you know please put those in the comment section so so the only way I know if you're uh, you know if you're enjoying what I'm doing if there's something new you want to see then yeah put it in the comment section and we'll, we'll see what we can come up with so right these lights have just got green so you can see we've just got uh, the that sort of bridge that we saw in the last episode and the uh, I'm sure it's got a technical name but the sort of spherical ball sort of thing the statue kind of uh, area that's uh, it's probably got a proper name and I'm probably completely butchering it and apologies if, if I have just um, but yeah that's uh, that's just just ahead on the right hand side and then yeah we're just heading our way out of the uh, out of Brussels now and uh, yeah we'll be jumping on the motorway and um, yeah heading our way down to Charleroi. Alright, so I think yeah, we're just joining the uh, the motorway just up here on the right. You can see it on the uh, the sat nav in the bottom screen there. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading on. Uh, seems to be heading on round, so straight on. So right and then straight on. And then uh, heading on round. So let's uh, try not to crash into any of the barriers on the way round. No, we'll give that plenty of. Uh, wide berth as we go around that right hand corner and then probably do the same thing as we go left here don't want to crash into these barriers if we can get away with it yeah don't speed either got to be careful of our speed on these things don't want to be penalized for speeding too much i know we seem to be uh, having issues with uh, with with hitting things and the air conditioning being too warm but let's try not to add major accidents and speeding to it if we can Right, so this is merging. Yep, merging for the right, so that's fine. I've got the police car behind us now as well. So, you know, if ever there was any pressure to uh, to, to get this route done, uh, we've got the uh, added pressure of the police being behind us as well. So, right, let's go slowly, and which may merge is so right merges into us, so that's fine. And then we're going to merge into them. So there's a truck coming, so let's put our foot down try and uh, yeah good we didn't crash into him but I don't know what happened to the police car but you can worry about that probably went in behind him um, and then yeah we've got a short trip here on the uh, on the motorway and what looks like some sort of power station up here on the right uh, yeah we've got power station coming up here on the right so right there goes the police car good thank you see you later please don't catch us for speeding or dangerous driving or hitting anything or whatever I'm sure we'll be fine he's going a lot faster than we are which is which is, which is fine it's fine the further he gets away from me the better at least uh, at least he can't see me crashing into things or you know speeding and uh, 
yeah, there we go, and he's gone. So, looks like some sort of river there on the right side. So, yeah, I'm guessing that is a power station on the right side. Can't really see it from these views, and, and don't really trust myself with my driving. It looks like a cooling tower of some shape or form. So, yeah, right, let's concentrate on driving and not trying to look at the scenery. But, uh, don't want to crash into anything as well. One accident is enough, I think, per episode. We don't need more than one. So yeah, got a firm bus episode this week. As I say, next week, um, toying with next week whether or not we carry on with bus sim 18 to try and uh, uh, try and get that somewhat finished. I or maybe an OMSI video. I'm not sure. We've still got uh, a couple of uh, or uh, one more route to do on um, uh, on that. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do next. Obviously, uh, you know, bus sim 21 comes out. Uh, on the 7th and I don't know whether the saved game is going to gonna go over I know that they've got um, the old map in there but I don't know whether or not we'll keep the saved game uh, in that so I don't know whether or not we'll be able to carry on the um, the career but I don't, again I don't know whether or not you guys would want to see that once the new one comes out um, or whether you just want to jump in straight into the new one so maybe we'll alternate between the two and uh, and see what comes out but yeah we'll, we'll We've got that to come out. Um, I think after that, then there is probably a. What was after that? Probably maybe we'll get back into uh, Train Sim World 2, probably do another uh, Boston Sprinter um, episode. I know they've just announced that the German route, I think, is the next route after that. Um, and then obviously the um, London to Brighton route will be after uh, that at some point. So, um, which is a shame because that was the one I was really looking forward to. But well, yeah, we'll wait for that one to come out. All right, so we're off here at the motorway, and uh, another tight motorway exit. So let's uh, let's try not to scrape the barriers as we go past. No, I think we're fine here, so that should be okay. And then what we're doing, we're going right at the end. So what have we got traffic lights again. No, traffic lights green, so we should be okay to carry on straight round to the right. Okay, there's nothing coming, just in case. Don't wanna crash into anything uh, a little bit off the road but we're okay right that's fine another tight left turn coming up here so again mind the barriers and any oncoming traffic but perfect but people have stopped complaining about the air conditioning being too hot so obviously we've um, we've obviously found the right temperature for that and unlike OMSI 2 they've not moaned about my driving which is unusual after the initial accident that we smashed into everything. So I'm guessing this is the outskirts of Charleroi. It's kind of getting to got these crazy little like speed restrictions. If ever there was a way of making sure that we're gonna smash into something, we put these all over the place and we'll crash into them. Right, perfect. So we negotiate that without hitting the uh, hitting anything in there, which is which is good. It's very good. Um, and what so we're going left and then right again that's fine just some sort of car park on the left there just wanted to see if it was anything exciting and that wasn't um, what's this like open area here just on the right side full of like I guess picnic tables and stuff so and then oh we got roundabout cool something new to uh, to try and negotiate as we come into uh, come into Charleroi so make sure there's nothing coming from the left a police station there on the left yeah, a few police cars parked outside, so obviously police station. Cool, nothing coming, so let's go around to the right. Nobody crossing, that's good. Perfect, trying to hit anything. Oh, just kick the curb. No, we're fine, we're fine, they didn't moan, they're okay. I think we did it, we managed okay. Alright, and then round to the left. Alright, we're speeding a little bit, let's watch our speed. Alright, round to the left, and then negotiate a bit of a sort of S bend I guess up here past the petrol station but yeah petrol station just on the left haven't actually needed to fill this thing up with petrol yet I guess we're uh, doing probably two smaller journeys to worry about filling up with petrol and then we've got some sort of like supermarket up here on the right I guess a Aldi or a Lidl or something like that seems to have more promotions in the window than it's got windows and yeah another couple of roundabouts up here there's some art on the wind uh, on that side there. Or look, even that there were some proper sort of like graffiti art. That's pretty cool. 
Alright, so let's uh, go straight across here. Let's make sure there's nothing coming. Uh, is that car going? Oh no, is that car coming? Let's stop. Let's them. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, you're coming as well. What's this car doing? Stop. Just go. Go. Alright, cool. Perfect. So they've gone. Hopefully they're going to stay there. Yeah, he was thinking about it. They were thinking about going. And saw me come in and decided maybe not to. Right, cool. Cross the river. And then we're taking a left here. So let's go, go around to the left. Try to mount the roundabout. So some sort of turning point there. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a rental car company maybe. And uh, I'll let this go. We're into the bus station. So nice big wide open bus station. Lots of different lanes to uh, uh, to negotiate. Make sure we get the right one. Look how open that is. Look at those different stops. That is so cool. Alright, so our stop is just up here on the right. We are running a little bit behind. We're about five minutes behind. So we'll probably get penalised a little bit for that. But uh, let's stop at our stop here. Go unlock Charleroi, perfect. All right, let's stop. Let's let these people off and open the luggage compartments. Make sure they can get all the baggage off. And let's just check if one has got off. Yep, they're all stood there, looking very happy as ever. Not moving, but happy. Um, and then yeah, you can see like there's a, I guess that's maybe a train station in the background. Can't be a bus station. It's too fancy to be a bus station. Anyway, let's uh, log out of today's route and see how we go on. All right, perfect. So, here we go. So, we get um, our main route showing here. And as you can see, we've uh, got all green on this first page. So, yeah, got, got the right amount of customers, sold the right amount of tickets, stopped in the right places, contacted Central in the right place. Um, then we start to go a little bit uh, awry here. So, uh, yeah, we were scheduled arrival at 1 and scheduled departure at 1. We weren't on schedule because we were late. Uh, none of this mattered. Obviously, we're 100% running everything else, even the um, in the air conditioning. Um we damaged one bit of property so we lost two points for that one and yeah and we were on the road yeah most of the time but we lost a point for that because we were only 86 percent on the road for that and we maintained speed limits on 98 percent of the time so yeah i think you know i think all in all i think we yeah say we uh we managed with the oh the air condition was 100 percent, so that was fine um so yeah so guys i think we'll uh We'll take that as a as a positive. Obviously, we did not really um, do the driving on the road quite well, but other than that, I think we we, we did all right. So, um, so guys, yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll take that as a win. And uh, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you have enjoyed the video and you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please uh, feel free to click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when the new episodes come out. And as always, guys, if there's any questions, queries, comments or suggestions for future episodes, then please put those in the comment section down below. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care. Bye.